defeat of Nicolas Sarkozy in the French presidential election to socialist Francois Hollande has raised a host of new questions here in Israel. Sarkozy was seen by top Israeli politicians as a staunch ally and personal friend of Israel, someone who was committed to ensuring the security of the state, to stopping Iran's nuclear facilities and fighting anti-Semitism in France. But where does Francois Hollande stand on these key issues? Will France's relationship with Israel change under his leadership? The newly elected president of France is thought by many to have a neutral position on Israel, not overly negative or positive. On paper, his positions on Israeli security are almost identical to Sarkozy's. The crucial difference is that Hollande's new socialist government, unlike Sarkozy's, will include hardline left-wing parties that have a long history of expressing anti-Israel and anti-Semitic views. The worry is not about Hollande, but about who will be working with him, advising him, and influencing him. One of the people he's uh, considering uh, nominating for prime minister is Martin Aubry, who's known for her very uh, anti-Israel uh, statements. Uh, so there is going to be a change uh, with the way France uh, uh, behaves internationally regarding Israel and the Arab-Palestinian conflict, and yes, there's uh, room for concern. France's Jewish community of 600,000 would also be affected. Attacks by government officials on their community or Israel would only feed the growing problem of anti-Semitism and the violent attacks it can provoke. On the issue of Iran's nuclear program, Israeli officials may also have concerns about Hollande. Israel welcomes Sarkozy's tough and aggressive stance on Iran, his push to get support for tighter sanctions, and his willingness to flex France's military muscle, as he did in Libya. Hollande has promised to be, quote, firm with Iran, but has not elaborated on what that means. And his foreign policy advisors say he opposes Israeli or American military action in Iran, even if they develop a nuclear weapon. The West is giving Iran perhaps its last diplomatic chance later this month to resolve the dispute over its nuclear program, but some fear Hollande may offer Tehran more time. And it looks very much like uh, Mr. Hollande is going to try to uh, start those talks again and uh, repeat the very same mistakes that President Obama did three years ago. So on that case, I think that in, in the, on the issue of Iran, uh, there's a lot of concern because uh, Mr. Hollande might, uh, might uh, uh, undo uh, the coalition that has been built by America and by France for the past uh, for the past year. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and Defense Minister Barak would not take well to that. The last thing they want to do is give Iran more time. They're pushing for sanctions to cripple Iran's economy and threatening military action. On the peace process, Israeli officials don't expect Hollande's position to be very different from Sarkozy's. He also supports a two-state solution based on the 1967 borders. And like Sarkozy, he opposes Israeli building in the Jewish settlements. He's also called for Hamas to abandon its armed resistance. It's expected that Hollande will come to visit Israel sometime this summer. While on the campaign trail, Hollande promised to come here if elected. Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.